guys are in here for my pixel tag so google pixel 2020 lineup is getting kind of weird some guys at 9 to 5 google dug into android 11's beta code and found out google's entire lineup of 2020 pixel smartphones alongside their code names google is going with different strategy this year so let's begin So at first there is the Pixel 4 and 4XL, Google's last year flagship. Then comes the Pixel 4a under the codename Sunfish. So that's fine. But then comes the Pixel 4a 5G under the codename Bramble, which we previously thought was the codename for Pixel 5. And then comes the Pixel 5 under the codename Redfin, again which we previously thought was the codename for Pixel 5XL. So apparently there is not going to be any Excel branding phone from Google this year. So let's start with the Pixel 4a. It is going to be the true successor to Pixel 3a. It is built around the same idea Pixel 3a was built. So it will be competing in the budget segment around $400. Almost everything about the Pixel 4a has been leaked. So it is going to have fingerprint scanner on the back and it will have snapdragon 730 soc inside and will have a plastic bit if you want to know more about the pixel 4a i have made a dedicated video on it so check it out up in the cards so let's move on to pixel 4a 5g it is more or less like the pixel 4a but as we know, Pixel 4a is powered by Snapdragon 730 and Snapdragon 730 does not support 5G. So instead of that, this mobile will come with Snapdragon 765G chipset. And a few days ago, we had a Pixel render and we thought it was a Pixel 5 XL, but it had that headphone jack, so it was a bit confusing. But now that we know there is a Pixel 4a 5G, we are pretty sure that's 4a 5G. So from the render, we can say it is going to be bigger than the Pixel 4a in size and will have dual cameras on the back and hopefully will come with a bigger battery. Other than that, the Pixel 4a and 4a 5G are going to be the same. So now you know what the Pixel 4a and 4a 5G are. Let's move on to Pixel 5. It is going to be the best offering from Google this year. So as we know, Google is not going for the high-end Snapdragon processor this year. So instead of Snapdragon 865, this mobile will come with Snapdragon 765G processor. Google says it will help them reduce the cost of the phone. It is said to be priced at $700, which is cheaper than the Google's last year flagship Pixel 4 at $800. So what's the Pixel 5 is gonna look like? Well, previously we had this standard. In this, we can see a U-shaped camera bump on the back housing three cameras along with the flashlight. And on the front, it has that face ID and solely radar tag. But now some new render have came out and it seems like it is looking more like the Pixel 4a series. It has that fingerprint scanner on the back, a square camera bump housing two cameras along with the flashlight. And on the front, it has that hole punch camera. So it seems like Google is ditching the Face ID and solely radar tag this year. So how is it different than the Pixel 4a 5G? Well, first of all, it is going to be smaller. And unlike the Pixel 4a 5G, the Pixel 5 will have premium build with glass back and aluminum frames. And it will come with premium features like the IP rating, the wireless charging and the higher refresh rate screen. And Google Pixel 5 may have better cameras than the Pixel 4a 5G. So that's the Google Pixel 2020 lineup. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you again.